Liberty University has a new acting president. Dr. Jerry Prevo assumes the position following President Jerry Falwell's indefinite leave of absence. Prevo, who is 75, has served as the chairman of Liberty's Board of Trustees since 2003. He recently retired as the senior pastor of Anchorage Baptist Temple in Alaska. Falwell's departure came last Friday after an uproar on social media over a photo he posted of him and another woman with their pants unbuttoned. And we are joined now by Pastor Dean Insera. He's the lead pastor at City Church, Tallahassee, Florida, and a Liberty grad. Pastor Dean, thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, I'm glad to be with you. Thanks for having me. The day before Liberty announced that Falwell was taking a leave of absence, you tweeted, I'm thrilled about the pastor of Thomas Road and feel the exact opposite about the president of the university. Somebody show some courage on the board or somewhere. What led to your opposition to Falwell's leadership and, and your decision to tweet about it? Well, I, as a Liberty alum, uh, I just felt it was time to s just say out loud what I had a lot of alumni communicating to me and how I felt as well that it wasn't even just about the picture. The picture that appeared online was like strike 15 uh, for Falwell. And it was just time for current students and alumni uh, to stop having to be embarrassed for their president. I was at Liberty students last summer at a camp uh, where I was speaking at for a while. And I had a conversation with them. And every single one of them loved the school, loved Liberty, but are really troubled and almost embarrassed by the actions regularly on, on social media, especially uh, by their president. So it was certainly time uh, for a change to take place. Yeah, it was so interesting to see that concern building. You, though, were one of the few Christian leaders to speak out uh, against Falwell or, or about your concerns last week. Why do you think so few spoke up? Uh, to be really honest, I think it's more about Trump than anything else. Uh, it's, it's almost like a new alignment within Christian culture that your political alignments and political support uh, overrides almost anything else. And sometimes that can even override your character and override your integrity. Uh, so I think if he'd have been maybe like a never Trumper kind of person, that many people would have spoken out across uh, Baptist circles, especially. I think that's a primary reason for it is basically untouchable uh, because of that. Unfortunately, it's sad. Oh. Well, last week, a lot of people voiced concern that Falwell's behavior was behavior that would have gotten a lot of Liberty students in trouble. The school, of course, is known for its strict rules around drinking, dress, sexual behavior. How can the school recover and rebuild after its president flouted those rules? Yeah, I, I think that, one, this action was significant, showing that there's real change happening. And also, I think it's important that we first and foremost care about Falwell's spiritual health. This is a human being. I don't want him cast out into no man's land. You know, I want to see him restored uh, to uh, his faith if that's a struggle. And I don't know him. I don't know him personally, uh, but I, I, I hope we all pray for him spiritually first. Uh, but I think it's getting back to what makes liberty liberty, and that's the vibrant spiritual life of the campus. The professors that are about Jesus before they're about anything else, and, and honestly, just kind of return to our roots of what liberty really is and why it was founded in the first place. Mm. Would you like to see uh, Falwell uh, given back his leadership post, or, or what are your what are your hopes for Liberty going forward? I, I'm a big believer in restoration. Uh, if there was serious repentance, which would mean him actually confessing to his issues, maybe getting the spiritual counsel, guidance, counseling that he needs. Uh, of course, I, I don't have any power at Liberty, but I, but I have a voice, and I, I'd be open to that. I'm all for restoration, but that takes a while. Uh, so I, I don't think that he needs, needs to be on the radar right now. We all need to be praying for uh, acting President Prevo. Uh, and the search committee as they go forward to find the next president of Liberty. All right. Well, I know there is a lot of uh, concern. A lot of people want the best for Liberty, uh, as do you, and appreciate your uh, willingness to come on. Pastor and Sarah, thanks for your time. Thanks for having me. I love Liberty and hope for great days ahead. Thanks so much.